Alright, now we're going to make our sauce, hot sauce. Alright, I'm going to start with my onion. I'll go ahead and use pretty much a whole onion or maybe a half of a large onion. Finely chopped. or seasonal and my peppers cut the end off of them and cut them into fours or fours fours good we more or less wanna just make them easy to cook because we're going to saute them down. So you don't have to be precise or pretty with the way you cut them. You just want to cut them or they'll cook pretty quick. Put them right into your saucepan. rising up with these peppers already starting to burn my eyes and I've only cut like six of them. And for the most part I'm using jalapenos ripened to redness. I have a couple of other different peppers in there but the majority are jalapenos. But you can do this with any pepper depending on how hot you want it. calls for a little over a dozen peppers but you can do as much as you want this is what I picked off the plant because that's what was right so I'm gonna go ahead and use what I've got and we'll just make a little extra if it turns out too hot just cut it with a little extra vinegar.
my peppers and onions and garlic. And to that I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil because I am going to saute this for a little while. About two to three minutes. And then I'm going to add some water. Okay, now I've got my peppers on heat. I guess I'm going to put it about on medium heat. I'll let them kind of saute a little bit. Start to saute a little bit. Stir it. Let it just melt down. Once they've sauteed and melted down a bit for a couple of minutes until they're beginning to wilt and kind of fry a little bit, then I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of water. Once I add two cups of water, we're going to just let it sit and cook for about 20 minutes or until most of the water is evaporated and the peppers are very soft and pretty much falling apart. Very pretty. Some pretty peppers. My peppers are softening up and they're nice and wilted. They're coming pretty limp. I can go ahead and add my water now and let it cook down. About two cups of water. I'm going to keep my heat hot because I want to evaporate this water. I'm really just softening the peppers and letting everything fall apart. And we'll just let it cook back down. I'm going to go ahead and put a pinch more salt. Some sea salt. I'm going to let this go for about 20 minutes. It's cooked down enough. You can turn the heat off. The moisture, the water is pretty much gone. It looks about like it did when it was sauteing before. Nice and wilted. What I'm going to do now is move it to a food processor, blender, juicer, anything, to just go ahead and puree this sauce really, really well.
That was one cup of white distilled vinegar if you couldn't hear. At this point, kind of need to taste it. Make sure it doesn't need any more salt. Lord, that's hot. I think I'm going to add, since I used extra peppers, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more vinegar because that's only going to get hotter the longer it sits. And it's already kicking. And I think I am going to add a bit more salt. Actually, I'm going to add a bit more of all of my seasonings. Touch more barley. Some celery's more seasonal. there we go our little projects for the night our strawberry and fig preserves our vinegar peppers and our homemade hot sauce the hot sauces we want to let cure for at least two weeks before we start to use it the jam we can use now or in the morning for breakfast <laughs>